Back at Stegman Coliseum here in Athens, Georgia, along with Kathy Johnson-Clark, I'm Chris Marlowe. After one rotation, the results for Alabama. Five of the six scores counting. Uh, Bama's group highlighted by Natalie Barrington's 9.9. Meanwhile, Georgia, some outstanding scores. Marlene Stevens, a 9.975. So after one rotation, Georgia scores its second highest vault score of the year at a 49-5, Alabama a 49-2. Now Georgia has won the last 10 dual meets against Alabama here in Athens. And a little bit earlier we asked Alabama coach Sarah Patterson how difficult it is to win here. This is what she said. I think it's equally as tough as it is to come into Coleman. Um, it's intimidating. The crowds are are um, exciting, you know. But I think our athletes, as I heard them come over here on the bus um, to the meet tonight, they enjoy it. They like this environment. They would much rather compete in front of 9,000 cheering fans because I think they feed off the fans' energy. And I think they would much rather do that than go to a place where there's several hundred fans and lackluster in, in terms of enthusiasm and environment. So um, make no mistake about it. I mean, the gym, the, I mean, the, our gymnasts love to be here. She has been unbelievably successful. Three national championships, the national coach of the year three times in her 22nd season along with her co-coach and husband David Patterson. So after one rotation, Georgia has a lead. And we're set for Alabama's uh, Lauren Holdefer. Shannon Rosek has gone. She got a 9.75. Holdefer, one of the two Holdefers, Aaron and Lauren, the first set of twins and sisters to compete for Alabama. Sometimes their gymnastics even looks alike. Just the handspring front height. Oh, a little out of control on the landing. Very nice height in the air, but definitely over rotated. Georgia is on bars, and this is Cassie Bear. Lauren Simpson went already, and she got a 9.75. Second best team in the Southeastern Conference. Fourth in the nation are the Jim Dogs. Both these teams are pretty good in every apparatus. And Bear. What both teams are striving to do on the ball is put up six 10-0 valued balls. Mm -hmm. And that's been the hardest thing for both of these teams to get that kind of depth and that kind of value. Kathy Bear has been so strong for this team, coming up with big moments all throughout her career. Her career best is a 9.85. And obviously you love to see the stars come out and shine and get the big scores, but here's where you rack up the points. You gotta have those backup gymnasts that go earlier in the lineup trying to go for the bigger scores to build them. Alabama's Lauren Holdover got a 9-7. So Rosa got a 9-7-5. Holdover a 9-7, the first two scores for Bama. Alexis Freon. Ready to roll. This is one talented gymnast. Very good very strong, very powerful. I think she's got an extra set of springs in her leg. So she just flies. Front pike with a half twist. Now see how she's added the half twist. We've seen the front pike. Those are worth 9.9. .9. This vault is worth a 10.0. Right off the bat, you have a tenth of a point advantage doing a more difficult vault. Brion is a freshman from Virginia Beach. Preseason, she had uh, shoulder problems, so she's worked her way back. Kathy Bear a 9.75. So Simpson got a 9.75, and Bear gets a 9.75. Marlene Stevens is up next. Coming off that sensational vault. Let's see if she can put together two routines in a row. Stevens, a sophomore from Houston, Texas. She spent the season really working out the small things on this event. Oh, no. So the first... Uh, Real fifth we've seen from anyone tonight. Yeah, that, that was unexpected by everyone. Mostly Marlene. And 
regroup. Five tenths of a point for the fall. She will probably repeat the element. It might be something that she needs. Keep in mind that that we, all the routines are made up of required elements, but also elements that give them bonus points. They're added difficulty. And they're working up the Tenno value routine. I've never been on the bars and fallen off, but I, I have to imagine the adrenaline just drains right after you when you when you slip. Absolutely. Now it's hard to say whether it was a technical error or a grip error. Sometimes your grip just now she was just, just came out way too early on the clear hip. Alexis Brion, her score nine seven five. So three in a row for Alabama. Gina Rice is up next. Well, this is someone Alabama is very excited to have back in the lineup. She's rested a few of the meets. Wow. Very nice. Rachenko laid out with a full twist. A little off center. She landed off to her right. She's had a difficult sophomore year so far. Just kind of finding her way. She came on super strong as a freshman mm -hmm. and is kind of having most people's typical freshman year in the sophomore year. Just finding her way back, finding her way. We talked to her mom who's actually here. Her mom was an Olympian in the United States. Don't worry, Joni, I won't say what year. <laughs> Joan Moore, beautiful, beautiful gymnast. And she certainly passed on some genes to Gina. Bird, her best a 9.85. Marlene Stevens, her score in, it's not good. 9.025. So Georgia needs to hit now. Once again, six uh, athletes on every apparatus. You can count five scores. You get two bad ones, you've got to count one, and that significantly drags down the team score. The bad news is. It puts pressure. The good news is it puts pressure because that it, it, it makes you rise to the occasion. These gymnasts are used to this. They feel such a strong responsibility to the team. They step up. If somebody misses, then next week it might go the other way. Bird, a sophomore from Little Rock, Arkansas. We'll find out when we come back. More Southeastern Conference Gymnastics on ESPN2. The completion of Rotation 2 right after this.